Welcome to today's 3D print. Today we're going to deal with the artillery SWX1 Sidewinder. So stay tuned. You may be saying to yourself, isn't this TH3D Studios printer? No. TH3D Studios is coming out with something called the EZ300. It's based on this chassis. It turns out that it was actually cheaper to buy a ready-made glider chassis, meaning just the aluminum extrusions, than it is to have your own cut, because they can do it a lot cheaper over there. So he is buying the gliders. In the auto industry, we call them gliders. When you buy just the chassis of the car without all the guts in the drivetrain. So he bought gliders, and then he's putting his own steppers, electronics, LCD, etc. into it. And all he got from them was the chassis. And... This is the actual company that was providing that chassis. They also have a, their own printer, of course, and that is this one, the Sidewinder. So let's get into it. We're going to open this thing up. I love it when they include these cardboard inserts to protect the corners inside the box from crush damage. It's very good, and I also love it when they use this nice high-density foam. It's good stuff, and I think this is upside down. Here we go inside the package. You have a nice toolkit. I'd like to see more companies do things like this. I like the idea of that. It's just a it's just a neat idea. We're going to go into this later. But um Creality Tivo G Tech, you guys should do something like that too. It probably cost you, you know, 25 cents per printer, but I think users would like that, especially the higher end machines. Blue anodized 20 by 60 X and Y axis rails, nice and heavy duty, and this is direct drive, not Bowden. So that's going to be interesting. So here's the inside. You have your 8 amp power supply, your MKS Gen L board, I believe someone said it was. There's your daughter board for the LCD screen, which is a color touch screen. Another breakout board, daughter board for the fans. So these run to here and then these run from here. Your ribbon cable connection here out to the machine. Your SSR, which connects directly to the SEC, IEC. Now you're saying, wait a minute, how do you run a 334 printer off an 8 amp power supply? Because printers don't take a lot of power. And the heat bed takes a lot of power. So this is more than enough to run the printer. It's probably twice what it needs. And the SSR connects directly to your input mains connection. And this simply tells the SSR to turn on or off. So because the heat bed is not being run through the built-in power supply, it doesn't need to be huge. You can have a nice little tiny power supply that's passively cooled so it's quiet. Um, 40 by 40 rails in here, 20 by 40, 20 by 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. So this frame is super strong. I do like that a lot. And that's important since it's direct drive. Oh, that's loose. The bolts for the fan were a little loose. The gantry for the printer has these, you can see these channels are attached here. So that this cable rolls up and down like this, kind of like a sidewinder. <laughs> so that, that name kind of fits. Same thing here. This cable, well packed. That's good. This will plug into here. It is a, a well, I'm assuming a copy, but a Titan extruder. It should be plenty filament, um, flexible filament compatible since they have the PTFE tubes in there. We will confirm that later, of course. It's interesting that the X axis is mounted vertically instead of horizontally, as is typical. And that is way too loose. I'm guessing we're going to have the same problem they did. Yes, this is backwards. Um, i got to tell them how to correctly put those belts on. <laughs> so the same problem he had. The belt is backwards. Instead of the teeth lining up with the teeth so it locks itself in place, they have the smooth side against the smooth side. So it pulls itself loose. So this is your gantry that you will attach to the printer. You can see the flat ribbons that they use to attach everything together. Um, I did have to reverse the belt direction because they had the belt smooth on smooth instead of gear on gear, teeth on teeth, which is not what you want. Um, I do not like the fact that the cooling fan is on the front because now I can't see my nozzle. I would have preferred them to rotate this heat sink 90 degrees and put a 40 by 10 blower on top blowing straight through the heat sink and then mount this on the side just because I'd like to see what the printer is doing and to do that I need to see the nozzle um, 
Not a huge deal, just a nitpick. I like to see what I'm working on. You know, they give you an LED to light up your nozzle, but then this thing is blocking it, so you can't see the nozzle anyway. <laughs> and uh, I, I like the blue anodized. I like when companies do that. It makes the machine look nicer. And I don't have a problem with that. Okay. I don't see any other major issues. I do not like the belt driving gears up top. I may remove that if they become a problem, but I'm going to leave them. We'll see what happens. Just like the TiVo Flash that had this same type of setup, I'm just going to get rid of it if it causes me any trouble. But let's get this assembled. It's very simple. Four bolts attached this to that. Plug in the wires. Put the spool holder on top, and you're done. It's a very, very simple assembly. Let's see what's in the goodie bag. So... A piece of covering tape, I think you use that to cover up the panels like it has here. This tape that actually holds this up against here for part of the travel, I believe that's what this is. A spare ribbon cable, that is nice to include. A bunch of wheels, I'm not entirely sure why they include spare wheels. This is what you put the bearings in, most likely because they have a tendency to over tighten them so they wear out. If you don't over tighten them, they won't wear out. I include long wrenches. Come on, don't chintz out. You got this nice bag, don't chintz out. It's got a spare RGB LED, probably because it's close to the hot end, it might get too hot, but I would like to see you include a white one. This way we can get a little brighter. USB cable and a one gigabyte flash drive. Real cheap flash drive, but it is aluminum, but you know, it's a cheap one gigabyte flash drive. But there you go, that's what's inside the little bag. I like that. More people should start doing that. We won't use these, they're too small. So, gantries installed, four bolts through the bottom. Machining was top notch. I was able to thread them all the way in by hand, which is really nice. Of course, you can only get in so far, then you have to use the wrench. Don't forget to put the, as per Rui Raptor, you have to put the end stop here for the Z-axis on the right hand slot, not the left hand slot like the directions indicate, because otherwise your X-axis will bump into it when it's at its lowest point. Because um, obviously this has to come up quite a bit higher. Um, they don't have a cover for this. It'd be nice if they had a cover for this. They went, th they went through all this effort to have everything neat and have covers on everything. And then they don't have a cover on this. So I would suggest, our Artillery, that you put a little cover on here. Just to continue that theme of everything's covered and neat. So put a cover on there. Is it possible to... Alrighty, everything is plugged in. We are booted up. This fan is pretty noisy. So I will be replacing this fan with something quieter. It's got a high pitch I don't like. Um... The hot end fan is not going at all, though it may be thermally controlled, so it might only go when it gets hot. Um, I can't talk about shipping speed because it doesn't apply to you. They DHL shipped me this, so I imagine it came for me a lot faster than it would for you if you ordered one. So here is the... Oh, let me do another video. So, printer's assembled, we're ready to go. Loaded some filament, built the spool holder, filament detection is working, I see a little LED on there. Here's your little bit of plastic porn for you guys. I know you guys like this, you weirdos. Yeah, you get off on some weird stuff, you guys. Ew. <laughs> Stay tuned while I get this thing leveled. Next up with some extras, you have your spare ribbon cable, you have your spare wheels, which you should not need if you correctly loosen them so they're not over tight. Um, it came with the crappy wrenches, which I didn't even use, but I'll toss them in the bag here. Spare RGB LED. I did not use the lock washers for the frame. And a spare bolt, which is nice that they include that. And the USB cable. But it's nice to be able to have all of that in here. Where is the tape? Here's the tape. The fabric tape. Okay. So all the little goodies are in there. Let's see what's inside this bag. Can't be anything else but a Marvin. You have to print a Marvin first. 
Okay, I already did all this. Slicer preparation. Okay, halfway decent instructions. Let's see what this says. Spool holder, sensor, power cord. Adjusting tension. Controlling LED. Installing ribbon cable. That was all good. Except for the instructions telling you to use the left hand slot. Don't use the right hand slot. On here, for the end stop, use the right hand. Oh, there's two ribbon cables there. You have a 30-pin ribbon cable, and you have a 20-pin ribbon cable. So there is a larger ribbon cable going inside here. So it can probably dedicate 10 full pins to the heater cartridge. Okay. I do like the fact that the instructions are probably small enough to fit in here. I hope they fit. No, they do not. Okay, so you're going to have to fold it again. But if you fold it a second time, they will fit. There we go. So everything fits inside the bag there. Let's level the bed. All right, we have it leveled. We are printing. I am going to replace the wheels with my larger wheels that I bought really cheap. I got a whole bunch of these. So I'm going to replace the wheels with the larger ones, but so far so good. The noisy part is this fan on the board. This one's pretty noisy, these two fans, so I am going to replace them with quieter fans. Otherwise, this thing's pretty darn quiet. I just got a shower right before the stream, so my hair is like crazy. <laughs> the LED, you can turn that on and off. So, you can see I can turn that on and off there. And you can even change the color, but not while printing. That's pretty cool. So, stay